Hey guys, welcome back to the start of today's video. We're going to be working on the AU Falcon today. And Lachlan in the background is going to be trying to get the R32 started. So if you're not following my TikTok, go check it out. We've actually been doing a whole build process on this thing. So yeah, we've got multiple builds happening on different platforms. Go check it out. Rex H. I don't know. Just TikTok's sort of fun. Anyway, I'm going to unbox the new steering wheel for the AU Falcon. I'm super excited because it's going to change the whole driving experience. As you know, anything to do with your hands on things or your feet on things, it changes the driver experience because that's your connection to the car. So having a steering wheel, I've actually never installed one before or actually had an aftermarket steering wheel. So this is going to be a new experience for me. I have been in cars with aftermarket steering wheels and it does make such a big difference. So super excited. Let's get today's video started. Yeah, baby. Package! Ah, Skizzers! She! Hope you didn't see my address there, but anyway, this is that SAS steering wheel. I don't know, I don't know, but you can buy these from Super Cheap Auto, so we just call this the Super Cheap Auto Special. Super Cheap Auto Special. Ready? I haven't seen this yet. This is the first time I'm seeing it with my very own eyeballs. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsies! Alright, get over here, then. bro. Oh man, I am I'm so excited. It's a real cheap steering wheel as well. Oh, damn, boy. So, this is our steering wheel. Um, it's We got a suede one. Now, Lachlan did tell me that this could be a big mistake because while you're drifting, obviously, you got to like let go and the steering wheel could probably cause burns in your hands. I don't know. I heard that can be a problem with Alcantara. I don't know if that'll be the problem with suede. I decided to get the simplest sort of spokes as well with some... A little bit of dish, so the steering wheel will come out closer to me, which will give a better feel. The only issue, of course, will be the fact that I won't be able to like get the indicators. I'll just explain it when I install it, but who uses indicators when they drift? Yeah, who, who uses indicators, bro? We don't really know how to do anything here because we are YouTube mechanics. Yeah, so we're gonna have to just watch some YouTube videos to figure out how to install the steering wheel. <laughs> also quickly, before we get started, you will need to pick up a boss kit from AU House or I think you can buy them. Super cheap auto special <laughs> boss kit as well. Um, yeah, so you're gonna need one of these as well to install this. Today we break my steering wheel virginity. How to remove a steering wheel off an AU Falcon. So it turns out there's like a little Torx bit and I've got lots of Torx bits thanks to YarageTools.com But for some reason, for some reason, there's like, it's called like a tampered Torx bit I think it is And there's a hole in the middle of it so probably won't be able to get, get it on camera because I don't know if there's like a proper zoom lens But you need a Torx bit with a hole down the center of it. Thanks Ford we took the chase route to stretch its legs and we finally got the tool. You see that? You see all these T-bits? Yes, I had to buy many of them because as with all special tools, it's cheaper to buy a whole set than it is the singular part. So T30, they've got holes in them. The regular ones don't have holes in them. Let's get this airbag out. Oh, there's all this shit going everywhere. Oh, oh, hey, no, nah, that wasn't even that bad. Nah, that wasn't even that bad. Just had to fist it a bit. Just had to use these baddies. Mm. <laughs> nice. We're now putting our boss kit on there. It's essentially the same thing as taking the wheel off. All you need to do is put the boss kit on exactly where the wheel goes and tighten the nut back down. Just make sure that you bring the cables through and then also get a friend of yours to hold the steering wheel. I mean, the wheel. The wheel. <laughs> <laughs> what was you doing? <laughs> no, no, it just looks funny. So now we've put some red Loctite on the bolt. We're gonna tighten it and make sure you get a you get a strong boy like Peter. Ooh! I just, just gotta make really weird sounds to make them real uncomfortable. The next thing we gotta do is try wire up the horn. So we gotta find the right wires that use the horn. And there's this like four piece cable. I'm just gonna like bridge a few to see if um I can figure out what the horn is or, or probably look it up because I might short something out. But on the back of the steering wheel, it also comes with wires as well. So like you could just use those. And there's a horn with the steering wheel, which is really sick. Let's figure it out. I've got my test slide over here. We're going to see if we can trigger the horn. See how we go. Got all the boys here. 
You can see there's, there's purple wires in there. No, you can't see, but it's the purple wire. As you can see, when we tap the test light onto the purple wire. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 come on, man. Warm, warm visit from Drake. Damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now it's got a nose print. Oh, gross. What oh, album, what album do you release today? What's the next song? Yeah, when's the next song? What's, right. what's it going to be called? Stop, dude. <laughs> 100 grand. <laughs> I said yeah. Cheap, 100 grand. <laughs> All right, we got the steering wheel installed. Have a sass. Have a sass. Sorry. S A A A S. Super cheap auto special. Yeah, it's all on. Everything's done. We're going to fix the rear suspension because we still need to do that. As if you saw in the last video, we actually um, completely destroyed the rear end. So we actually made it worse. But we're going to put that all back together. Then take this thing for a test drive. I'm also going to take off the plastic on the horn. I'm excited. Oh, damn. Yeah, have a seat kind of, kind of clean, dude. <laughs> yeah, have a seat, bro. Damn, it looks good from outside. Hey, not bad. <laughs> there you. Hey, you laugh, bro. You soon. Nah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Why is there no drain plug? We're gonna take the Falcon for its first drive with the steering wheel and I'm just turning it out onto the street and it already feels feels incredible man SAS quality steering wheel like it sounds like I'm being sarcastic I am a little bit but at the same time I'm also being truthful it does feel absolutely incredible because it's a um a smaller steering wheel as well it means that we have to we can turn it less and it moves oh man it feels bro Nice! Yeah, baby! Oh man, I'm loving this thing. Holy crap. I'm gonna probably take a quick drive without the camera, but just quickly, it feels awesome because it's like closer to me as well. The only downside of that is that I have to reach a little bit further to get the indicators. Like, you see, I can't just like flick the, um, the indicator right here. I have to sort of like move my hand down. But once you do that, it's mint. <laughs> this is sick, man. Holy crap, I'm so happy. Like I said, any modification that you do that involves touch, feel, feet, whatever. I don't know why I said feet, but it makes the car feel entirely different. And it changes the driver experience and I'm literally seeing it right now. Steering wheel is awesome, so happy. Feels less bulky as well. Feels like it's more nimble. I don't know why, but it does. But yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, it feels so good, yeah? Hey guys, so it's the next day now and a subscriber reached out to me um, a few days ago saying that he could give me a seat for the AU Falcon. So we brought the AU Falcon out. We're going to go say hello to Cody. Yeah, he's offered me a free seat, so couldn't turn that down. Um, I've got a few stuff for him. Got some jet tags that I'm going to give him. Got some AU Falcon keychains as well. I don't even actually know if the seat's going to fit in the AU Falcon because the rails he's got are probably not made for an AU, so... I've also just been enjoying driving this thing around for the past few hours because the steering wheel is sick. It'd be cool to have a seat in this thing, so yeah. This is Cody. He's a big fan of the AE Falcon. How'd you find out about my channel, man? I just threw a mate. Uh, yeah, he loves it. So, so do we all. We all love it, though. Love the uh, AU life, huh? Of course, mate. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> so Cody's going to take me to a spot uh, sometime soon. And we're going to take the AU out for uh, some good time. Uh, for a good time, sorry. And yeah, we're going to take him for a quick spin so you can feel what it's like driving around with these. Well, push push this down. You can feel... <laughs> it's so bouncy, man. <laughs> what, you flip cars? Yeah. And this, he's, he's told me that this is like a special patrol that not many people... It's like the skyline of patrols, you said? Yeah. So basically what it is, it's a TD42 blacktop coil cab. It's got 160 on the clock with books. I just brought it up in uh, Dubbo got shipped down last week. So yeah. Obviously, it's quite rough at the moment, but it's a project and something to do, mate. So. Oh, sick. We're very used to seeing engines on a slant like that. It was missing fifth in the gearbox, so I just got a new gearbox, which I'm currently putting in. Oh, it's not really very clean, but yeah. Yeah. it's a big, big job. Look, super cheap auto special. There Thanks, you go. man. No worries. I appreciate it so much. I wonder if it's going to fit maybe in the boot. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> in tech, mate. That's it, man. Dude, I really appreciate the seat, so thank you so much. No worries. Thanks for taking me a spin. No worries. We had, we had a good time in the Indusso. <laughs> <laughs>
Wasn't bad, mate. So there you go. The AU Falcons finally got a seat steering wheel. Well, the seat's not in yet, but it will go in very soon. I thought I'd give this time here to give you a little bit of behind-the-scenes stuff of what's going on because I feel like a lot of you guys like to see that sort of stuff. And for those who don't know, the bankyspec.com website is literally ran by me. Sometimes Chloe as well. She helps out. Yeah, just all in my bedroom. <laughs> Underneath this pile of vinyl and stickers and all that are all the parts for the chaser and i've been collecting them over the past like couple of weeks just a whole bunch of stuff to do all the fueling things um the chaser needs for its 350 kilowatt power point and i've been sort of holding off doing the mods because it is very intimidating to do fuel stuff correct that is going to be our next plan our next venture onto modifying cars so we've got the au we're going to keep building that on the side but the next few videos may be the chaser being built. Um, I still need to wrap my head around what I need to do here. We do have ourselves a 525 fuel pump boost controller for the Link ECU that we have downstairs. Um, some wiring. We've got injectors. So the chaser will be getting an upgrade. I know a lot of you people out there are like, you know, what's going on with the chaser? Like, has Rex sold it? Like, like why are you building an AU over the chaser? I mean, there's, there's a bunch of reasons to why. But just to let you guys know now, we're going to start building it again so stay tuned for that um but anyway thank you guys so much for watching we do have a cheeky drift sesh planned for next weekend i think so stay tuned and uh, i will catch you all in the next one thanks for watching like the video if you liked it and again thank you to cody for giving us that seat catch you all in the next one peace out That's why.